Hey guys, so it's one of the, you guys asked for a black green threshold deck. Uh, you didn't really have a list that you wanted me to play, so I looked at a couple and I kind of made my own list. Uh, yeah, so this is the list I came up with that I wanted to try out. Um, I looked at a couple different ones. Uh, it's kind of like black white, uh, black green mid range with like a threshold theme. Uh, so let's just look into it real quick. Alright, so for Threshold theme, we got Nimble Mongoose, which becomes a 3-3 three, three when you uh, with a Shroud when you get a, heck, uh, sh a Threshold. And then Werebear, which is 1-1 one, one that ramps you into your like 4 and 5 cost faster, as well as it becomes a 4-4 four, four when you hit Threshold. So those are the, the Threshold uh, creatures. Uh, to fill up the graveyard, we have Commune with the Gods, which puts uh, five cards uh, five cards in the graveyard, and then you can either put a uh, uh, five. You reveal the top five. You pick one of them. That's a creature enchantment. You put that in your hand, but it ends up being five cards because you include Commune with the Gods, and then Grapple of the Past, which is put three cards in your graveyard, and you get to pick any creature or land from your graveyard to put in your hand. Um, so they're both card advantage as well as filling up the graveyard to churn through our graveyard faster. Also, since we're filling up our graveyard so fast, I put four of unearth, and then I have a bunch of utility cards with that, like uh, Chittering Rats to attack their hand, Phyrexian Rager to gain uh, to draw a card, or Crypt Rats to be able to kill a go wide deck pretty early. Um, and then we have also. Three uh, uh, sh tribe elders, which ramp into our heavier cost like thorn, uh, thorn of the black rose, pestilence, uh, crypt rats, and Gurmag angler, as well as it fills up the graveyard when it dies. Uh, we have three of chainers ex because we can flash them back. Then we also have one raven's crime for later in the game if we just start hitting way too many lands. Uh, for the fact that Commune can hit enchantments as well, I put one Pestilence main deck as well as one Cartouche of Ambition for gain for Lifelink against uh, aggressive decks or Burn. Uh, because I think if, without that, I think Burn game one would probably just be a loss regardless. Um, like it would be very hard to win it. And then we run 22 lands, uh, four of them being Fetch. You could run more Fetch. Um, but I just wanted to run it a little bit less, though that might be a mistake. Uh, in the sideboard, I brought in additional Thorn of the Black Rose. Uh, I have an additional Thorn of the Black Rose for basically like Tron. So like Nihil Spell Bomb, Thorn of the Black Rose would be like your Tron with like Raven's Crimes. Uh, we got Gleeful Sabotage, the idea of either for Affinity or for... Um, uh, boggles. It's gonna be hard to do the conspire thing, but it's not gonna be impossible. Uh, but it's a two cost to destroy either one of those, and then have a chance of destroying a second one. We have uh two more cartouche of ambition for again aggressive or burn. Uh, two more pestilence for any of the uh, uh go wide decks or aggressive decks, and one more chainers edict as uh additional single removal. Um, so that's, that's the deck that I'm planning. Oh, and two Raven's Crime for any deck that that's good against. Uh, so this is the deck we're running. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in match one. Please like and subscribe if you have not yet. It helps out the channel quite a bit. All right. Uh, I think we can keep this. I mean, we'd prefer not to have... Uh, let's turn to tap land, but we can definitely make it work. So if this ends up being mono black land destruction, we're going to lose game one because they're just going to destroy this bounce land. Oh, that's actually really good. Allows us to play that. Uh, 
Uh, we'll put one of the unearth. That's fine. So let's swing. Actually, let's not swing. I think we just put Elder out there. And then we'll keep it on the field again. We'll discard the unearth. Block. Sacrifice. We'll get a swamp. Uh, we'll take a werebear. Now I kind of wish I fetched a green with one of those. But next turn we can play two big creatures, and then uh, if they end up getting killed, then we start playing the Gurmag Angler. So we have like threats for the next couple turns at the very least. Now, if he starts chaining together like Grey Merchants, we might be in trouble. We'll take two, that's fine. Okay. Werebear, Mongo, uh, Mongoose, uh, Unearth, Mongoose, make it, like, they have Shroud, so they're thinking they're pretty hard to kill. We have nine cards. Next turn, we can keep seven in the graveyard while also keeping a, a Threshold. Yep, that happens. Okay. Well, we're going to take the the Monarch regardless, and we can cast uh, Angler pretty easily. Now, Chainer's Edict would be a great draw. No? Okay. Play the Werber. Hmm. 
Commune, commune, unearth, commune, unearth, unearth. We got our own Thorn of the Black Rose. That seems pretty good. Yeah, but we're so far ahead on the field, like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're just going to kill him with Crypt Rats then? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's going to bring in stuff to attack our graveyard. So I think we want to go Chainer's Edicts, Raven, Prime, Thorn of the Black Rose, and then we probably want to shave a few of these Threshold stuff. And like one on Earth, shave, 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 uh... Yeah, and we'll shave. I like Werebear a little bit more than the Mongoose for the fact that it ends up being a little bit bigger and it can ramp us into. So, like, even if it's just on the field without Threshold, it's still ramp. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that they're gonna attack our our uh, graveyard now. So that's that's the the idea is Mongoose is a one one. I'd rather have a one one that taps for one mana, you know, rather than a one one with Shroud. Uh, this hand's fine. We'll keep this. Uh, we have a possibility of, like, a turn three thorn. We just need to get, uh, untapped land of any sort over the next two turns. Uh, I mean... Do we go with the werebear or the elder now, turn two? I think we go with the elder, to be honest. Untap land. There you go. Okay, so we're going to be able to go Thorn next turn if we wanted to. Kind of want... I think we go with more green right now. I don't think we really care about Cartouche. I like Chainer's Edict, and I like putting out a Werebear. That's fine. So we could go Raven's Crime. Werebear, Mongoose, next turn we'll go Thorn probably, Commune with the Gods would be a good draw, Ouch, see, 
That's why we wanted less of these. If he has two more removal, then uh, we're probably going to lose this. But he has to have two more removal like this right now. Commune with the Gods is a great draw. Okay, so that's 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 actually really good for us. Defile, if he has Defile right now, that's going to suck. Ouch! Alright, so we just... I think we just try to hold on to the Monarch for right now. And it feels terrible, but... Wow, he's really all down on the attack graveyard thing. Rager is a great draw. Let's see what we draw first. Nothing. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, okay. So we can cycle unearth in response to him attacking and block with a 4-4 on one of these, and I think that's probably what we're going to do. Okay, that's game. Good game. <coughs> uh, yeah, he hit all his graveyard hate. I think our, we're still fine. Just, like I said, he hit all of his hate at the same time, you know? Alright, yes, we would like to play first. We'll keep... Crypt rats. Guess verdict, which actually works out really well for us because we have unearth. Unless he hits our graveyard right now. That would suck. Did I say Crypt Rats instead of Chittering Rats? I'm so dumb. 
just you guys should just be used to me being dumb Really can't do much with the Grivred right now, and I'm afraid of him using Bajukabog, so I'm gonna wait to use this. We'll take another Chittering Rats. I actually like hitting their hand as much as possible. Attack both. If we get their life total low enough, we can go uh, Crypt Rats for the win. Also, if he goes like super wide, we can do the same thing, you know? <clears throat> uh, we won't attack because he could block and then ping for one and kill this. I think we'll just wait till we can attack with the angler next turn. Okay, I'm gonna swing with this guy and this guy. If he ends up uh, killing this guy, then that's fine. He didn't.
All right, so since he did that, we're gonna go Crypt Rats kill everyone. Ooh, okay. All right, so we're both top decking. All right, let's see who top decks better. That's basically, I like this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, what we get? We're just gonna keep thinning out that deck, okay? Not leaving it in hand because he could get chittering rents. That was a great draw for him. That's one of his stronger draws. Come on, give us something good. Okay, come on, stop drawing lands. Uh, we have 22 lands in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. So we only have nine more lands in the whole deck. Okay, yeah, we we lost. Like we lost. This is this is ridiculous. Or not, or not. We might we might still be in this. Okay, that's a really good draw too. That's bad for us. Yes, it is. Uh, that's game. Because he swings for three. He deals five. That puts us to one. And with him having three creatures out, yeah, we're that's game. Okay. He drew better than us at the end. But we're definitely in that game. All right. This isn't bad. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right. We are going to Mulgan. We will keep get rid of unearth <coughs> okay I mean it's not a complete loss against the mono red creature version though it is probably going to be hard to win Okay, that's kind of a cool. So is this goblins or okay it's... we're gonna get riggedy wrecked this is one three six ten and he's probably gonna pick that so we can't even block great okay 
Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna die. We just gotta hope that he has two mountains in hand, right? Him having two mountains in hand, him drawing a mountain for sure now, and us unearthing the elder might get us there. Because that says any sort of red spell, right? <coughs> okay. Okay. No creature. No creature right now. Just no creature. Come on, buddy. Well, if he doesn't have a creature, this can't block. I mean, this these can't attack. Okay, so he can only deal two. All right, so I think I go get a swamp. And I hope to God we draw Crypt Rats. Okay, Crypt Rats or Pestilence. Either of those draws, either of those top decks are muy bueno. Unearth is not terrible, actually. Unearth. Go get Shittering Rats. Whatever that card in hand is goes back on top. Hopefully, you know. Then we'll go tap, tap, tap. Play the Rager. Now we really need a cartouche of uh, the life gain one. What is the name of that card? Cartouche of Ambition, that would be really good. That is not good, but we'll take it. <coughs> okay. We will live, it looks like. Sure. At least is not going directly to our face. We are going to block this initiate, by the way. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, Pestilence looks great. I 
think we play Thorn of the Black Rose. And hope he draws a land. Just draw a land, buddy. You draw a land. There's Crypt Rats too, which is actually pretty good too. So I think we're definitely bringing in Pestilence and we're bringing in uh, the other Cartouche. Ooh, that's not, that is not good. That is, that is really bad. But we can kill a couple of his creatures. Yeah, I think we kill a couple of his creatures while keeping ours. Wipe his field, right? We're trying to take the least amount of damage possible. So we're going to block both of these guys. Take two. Bring this out. Deal one to everything. Keep all our creatures. Swing with one. And be able to keep the Thorn of the Black Rose back. Only way this gets better is if Cartouche comes out. If he gets like a bolt or something right now, we're dead though. Okay, so we can go... Pestilence. Deal one to everything. Play Nimble Mongoose, swing with Chittering Rats. <laughs> okay, we really need to get that ambition. Or him to just hit straight lands for a while. Either one of those works. Okay, what's in our graveyard? Swing for five. That's going to be, that's pretty good for us. Jungle Hall is pretty good. We can gain some life off of that. Are we just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we can keep up Crypt Rats to be able to kill both of us at the same time to deal with a tie. Yeah, I think that's that's exactly what we're gonna do.
just in case he has a haste creature. So now if he goes for the win, either we win next turn or if he goes for the win, we end in a tie, which sounds great with me both ways. Okay, there we go. There you go. That felt like good tight plays there. I actually didn't like mess it up. Felt great. All right, so we're definitely bringing these. I think we bring in the Pestilence as well. I think Chainer's Edict might be okay. It might be worth it. Uh, we could probably take out Thorns, even though they played well last game. I don't think they're going to play well every game. Raven's Crime. Don't really think we want to do grapple. Yeah, I think everything else is fine though. Now, if we can get an angler with a cartouche on it, then we'll win most likely. I think this this hand's okay. I wish we had a way to fill up our graveyard, but we have a few chances of trying to get ways to fill up our graveyard. So I think we're I mean, with drawing as well as like unearth, we can cycle this if we need to. Yeah, we're probably going to cycle unearth. Take two, sure. If he's stuck on one land, then that buys us time. Crypt Rats is great too. Yeah, Crypt Rats. I think setting up for Crypt Rats is probably not a bad idea. At the very least, this Crypt Rats is going to take a burn for us. And if he's burning the Crypt Rats, then he can't play Creature if he's stuck on one mana. So this is actually like where we want to be. Exactly where we want to be. Yeah, okay. Sure. We can wipe the field now at any point. We will block because these guys are going to die regardless. Block. Block. What we really want is a black land. He's going to save two of them. And then we're going to play Mongoose.
All right, could we either get a black land, a swamp, or can we, uh, we should have blocked. Uh, could we either get a swamp or anything that fills the graveyard? That's the game. Okay. Let's try again. He was stuck on one land. And I kept a bad hand, I guess, then. Probably what it was. Yep. Uh, I'll keep this. think angler into cartouche next turn is going to be game for him <clears throat> he's gonna have a hard time dealing with it Okay, <clears throat> I think he's pretty much figured out that he's going to lose. Taking a long time to make his decision. That should be game right there. Okay, that's game. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have not yet, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.